Hello everyone. Uh, that is very closely connected to this question that I will present today. So, my name is Katrina Lepinia. When I was a child, everyone called me just Kate. Maybe because I had never liked my name, although my grandma told me that I was named in honor of Saint Catherine, Saint Patroness of Kuldiga town. I have always associated myself with Kuldiga, my native town, the most beautiful place on earth. Have you ever been to Kuldiga near Ventus Falls? I used to come here with my grandma to look deep in, into the heart of the widest natural waterfall in Europe. My grand grandma's voice singing a lullaby at my ear is what I remember best of all. How fabulous it was. My blissful child is over now. Even uh, one evening I came home to find my grandma collapsed on the floor and I never heard her voice again. She had not taken her medication because she had run out of it. Despite the pitch and night, I ran for help knocking in neighbors' doors. I was crying in despair. I was even ready to run 50 kilometers to near pharmacy. Yes, there are no pharmacies in Kuldiga town. Not long ago, all pharmacies in our town were closed. Unfortunately, the rescuers could not help my grandfa uh, grandma and her heart stopped beating forever. If only we had had medication, everything could, could come turned differently. Yeah. Fortunately, this letter was never written and now I will tell you why. So uh, our campaign was uh, about the pharmacy law. In um, 2001, uh, pharmacy law was adopted with a transition period of 10 years. That meant that uh, in 10 years all the pharmacies could be owned only by specialists with uh, pharmacist education. Uh, 10 years later, the um, situation looked like, uh, like that. From more than 800 uh, pharmacies, uh, uh, less than half were owned by pe person, people with pharmacist education. Uh, in reality, that meant that more than 400 pharmacies would be closed, about 2,000 of pharmacists would lose their job, and tens of millions uh, of investments would be lost. Uh, and what is even more important, that there really could happen such stories as I read, because there would be small towns in Latvia, there would be, would be no pharmacies at all, and people, people would, would have to go about 50 kilometers to, to get their medicines. So the aim of our campaign was to, to achieve uh, changes in this pharmacy law uh, to, to, uh, to give a possibility to, to own pharmacies to entrepreneurs ir irrespective uh, of their education. Uh, we started, of course, with analysis, and uh, these were uh, we've, we've analyzed position of the stakeholders, politicians, of course, that are responsible for this decision, uh, social partners, uh, opinion leaders. We've also analyzed opponents. Opponents were uh, pharmacists that, that really owned pharmacies, and they were interested in in, in this uh, current version of this law. And what we've also uh, understood that. Um, our opponents also uh, already uh, were working with, with different stakeholders and some of the opinion leaders uh, were uh, on their side. So we understood that we have quite a big job to do. Uh, worldwide practice, of course, was also analyzed and later we used it in our arguments. Uh, political situation monitoring. We started with it to understand what uh, politicians um, uh, think about this uh, question in the beginning to have this uh, starting point and later all, all the time permanently we, we analyze this situation uh, to see how, how we should adapt our communication and our strategy uh, in, to, to, to their uh, points of view. And uh, media content an analysis of course all, all the time was uh, realized uh, to see how a media reflect our position and uh, position of the opponents and the situation as, as, as such. Speaking about our strategy, 
very important uh, help uh, uh, came from the opinion leaders. We uh, asked their their uh, their opinion. Uh, these were different politicians, lawyers, uh, uh, finance specialists, education specialists, etc., etc. Uh, social partners. Very important uh, support also came from them, uh, employers, employers uh, associations, trade associations, uh, people who are really visible and who understood, uh, uh, who saw this situation similar with us, and they helped us in this public space to communicate this question. Uh, direct communication was actually one of the key moments in our campaign because uh, we. Uh, used every possibility to speak about our case, about our position. We uh, took part in all in all the events, in all the meetings in parliaments, uh, to 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 just to spread our position. We spoke with with uh, politicians, with parties, etc., etc. Um, and uh, of course, we've used media relations just to put this question into agenda of, 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 of media, of society, and of course to communicate with politicians through the media. Uh, events uh, starting with different debates and uh, even pickets. Uh, sorry. Uh, our campaign started in February and um, ended in August. Uh, here you can see our main arguments. What I want to emphasize is that these were mostly uh, rational arguments uh, uh, based on facts on, on different research. And uh, we've made more than 15 surveys that were published. Uh, and uh, in these surveys, uh, uh, different countries' practice was analyzed. Uh, opinion leaders uh, shared they, uh, their opinion, etc., etc. And as I mentioned, this was really important uh, point, these permanent meetings, discussions, events in, in different cases, in different situations. Uh, about 1,000 publications were arranged during this campaign uh, from, from, from our uh, side. And sorry, it's clicking. Uh, and uh, as a result, uh, in August, Parliament made their decision and uh, this pharmacy law was changed, and now a wider scope of uh, persons uh, can uh, can uh, own the pharmacies. So uh, this this was a good 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 result, really good result for us. And uh, it's not just good because it was our aim; it, it is achieved, but also because uh, no pharmacies should be closed, no people will lose their job, and investments also uh, are very valuable for our economics. And uh, I'm really happy that such letters that I read in the beginning, uh, at least uh, in this context, are not written till today. And what I want also to mention that this campaign wasn't real realized using some marketing tools. It was uh, uh, mostly on uh, communication like PR tools. And there actually are some more additional uh, results that maybe can't, can't be so well measured in figures, in, in, in statistics. Uh, these are healthy people, healthy families, uh, happy people and people who can choose where to buy their medicines. And actually, we, me and my team, we are really happy that we, uh, we could help and, and take part actually in this great campaign. So thank you very much for your attention.